hello. Hi, you guys. Happy Monday. I don't know why I say happy Monday every Monday. I guess because I want us to be happy on a Monday. Usually people are not happy on a Monday. So here we go. I'm happy. I hope you're happy on this new week, new opportunity to live exactly the life you kind of have imagined for yourself and that you want. So here we go. You're not booking and yet you have tried everything. And so I want us to look at why that's happening today and why that is great news. You might disagree with the title. You may think, well, if I'm not booking or not booking the kind of roles I want and I have tried everything out there, that's not great news. That sucks. And so I hear you. It does feel horrible when you're putting a lot of energy into something and it's not transforming into the outcome that you want. And so I hear the frustration. I hear the pain. I know you're fed up. I know that sometimes you even think about quitting. I know that sometimes you can't, you know, sleep. You have back pain, neck issues, migraines. I know that you're suffering. When you put a lot and you don't get anything out, it feels out of whack. It doesn't feel great. And so legitimately, you're like, what the heck? Why am I doing everything and it's not working? So you've probably tried, you know, acting school, acting classes, acting workshops, acting teachers, acting whatever, celebrity coaches. You're probably reading all the acting books. You're doing the casting director workshops, the agent workshops. You're doing everything. You're doing the camera workshops. You're doing tape, self-tape workshops, the drop-offs, the everything. And you're not booking or you're not booking the kind of roles you want, which is the same problem at two different levels. But it's the same problem and it's the same route. And so I hear you. It's frustrating. I wish you wouldn't have to do that and then not get the results. But here is the thing. This is why it's great news. And I'm going to explain why this is happening. The first reason why this is great news is that you're involved in a situation where you're putting all of your energy and all of your action in trying everything out there and it's not working. Why is that great news? Because it's feedback. So whatever it is that you're doing, the master classes and workshops and more acting studio and more this and more that, it's not working. Stop doing the same thing and expecting a different result because that is the definition of, you know it, insanity. So it's feedback. Your environment is showing you what's going inside. What's going on inside is I want to act. I'm doing all the things. I'm still not booking or not booking the type of roles I want. Okay, so something going on in here is not reflected outside. You want it, but the, th the way you're approaching it, the, uh, the way you're showing up for it is not translating into the results you want. You need to look at that. You need to look at that very clearly, very bluntly as a professional and look at it and go, all right, it's not working. I need to change something. If you're here and you want to go there, if you keep doing the same thing, you will not get there. Doing the same thing is just keeping you comfortable. It's just keeping you in a lazy, I'm not going to change, I'm not going to transform, but it's not going to get you to where you want to go, whether it's in acting and dating and relating and whatever you want in losing weight. It's the same thing everywhere, okay? You're stuck here, looping, trying harder and harder and more and more, and you're not getting there, okay? So whatever it is you're doing here, it doesn't work. You need to look at that. Great news, great feedback. I know what doesn't work. When you know what doesn't work, you have a little more insight on what could work. You're doing everything. I'm going to underline, put it in bold, and un underline and circle the word thing. You're doing all of the things. Reading a book, having a shrink, going to a master class, going to an actor studio, trying with this acting teacher, trying with that celebrity coach, trying to hire a private coach, trying to whatever it is people do, trying to work harder, trying to prep harder, trying to push more, trying to be more relaxed, trying to be more confident. You're doing all of the things. And what is the job description as an actor? Is it to be a pro at knowing all the methods? Is it being a pro at having read all the books and knowing a lot about acting? Or is the job description that you're responsible for being fully alive, for bringing full aliveness to this little character soul that was written on a page 
Isn't that your job description? Your job description, yes, is I am going to bring 100% aliveness, uniqueness, and my own unique humanity to this character. I am going to bring this character to life. That's your job description. Bring this character to life. And does any masterpiece in any art form come from a recipe? No. A technique? No. A method? No. An eight-step class? No. No art, no masterpiece will ever come from a proven technique or method. That will only give you mediocre, average content. Painting, songs, acting. The one thing that you haven't done, if this is not working is actually stop doing the things out there and take care of the only ingredient that matters in your career, your aliveness. Your job description is to bring this character to life. Let's look at your aliveness. If you're not able to book, not able to book the roles you want that resonate with your essence, is because you haven't taken care of your aliveness. The second you take care of your aliveness, meaning you work through all the blocks, all the obstacle, all the tension, all the anxiety and the self-doubt that is making your instrument shrink when you audition and when you tape, the second you do that, the second you're able to show up present, fully alive, open, truthful, free, like that people can actually see you and feel you and connect with you, because you can feel yourself, you're not in a technique, because you're connected to yourself, you're not thinking about the eight steps and the line that you shouldn't forget, because you're really present, they can feel you in that moment. They can taste you. They get a sense of the fact that you're alive. They get to taste and experience why you're so radically different from all the others. You need to work through all of these blocks so that you can show up fully in flow, fully in freedom, in truth, presence, oozing with aliveness. That's when the actors in our community talk about, well, I went in for role A, I booked role B. And they changed the gender, the race, the age, the accent, the nationality, the amount of lines, the storyline, the storyline. This happens all of the time because if you're able to bring full aliveness, if you're fully unleashed to your humanity, right now you're leashed, you're like this, studying all the methods, buying all the good things. You're like this, you're sh- this is how you're showing up to auditions. This is how you're taping. You can learn everything you want. You can learn every technique, work with the best, The more you work with all the books and all the teachers, the bigger and the thicker that leash is. You need to be unleashed. What we need, what people are looking for is you. You, when you're fully alive, fully free, fully present, fully truthful, fully purposeful. That's what people are looking for. So it's great that you're seeing I'm doing all of the things. I'm not booking or not booking the roles I want, or it feels like shit when I'm working. Great. Great, red flag, stop doing what you're doing. Start actually taking a second and breathe and start connecting with yourself. Start looking at what's actually going on in my aliveness, my instrument. It's like if you were starting to play tennis and you go buy all the rackets and all the tennis shoes and all the headbands and you never actually discover how to run in a way that's going to feed you. If you can't run, no one cares about your racket or about your headband. It's the same for acting. Stop trying to get all the things and work with the best and buy the new book and try the new method and go to that workshop and get a better agent. Stop it. You're not fully alive. Nothing will work. It's great to know that. It's full clarity. When you have that clarity, well then, you get to actually address what's preventing you from being fully alive. You were born fully alive. You were born free, instinctive, truthful. You were like this. And then you've been conditioned. You've been told, hey, don't cry. Hey, 
don't get scared. Hey, shh, don't get angry. And when you're happy, turn it down. You're loud. It's bothering. People are watching. So you're born like this, feeling anger, sadness, joy, fear, etc. You're fully alive. You're fully instinctive. Like only you can. Then you're being told to shut up, be quiet, don't be angry, don't be sad, don't be afraid, behave, sit down, do what you're told. If not, you'll be punished. If not, you'll be blamed. If not, you'll be humiliated. This is how you walk in the audition. This is your leash. You're just like choking, trying to look good when you're choking doesn't work. Trying to be confident when you're choking doesn't work. Trying to please the casting director to make sure he chooses you and you're choking doesn't work. You know what? Even if you book the work, even if you book the role, it won't work because you're still choking when you're doing and you'll jump out the window because it doesn't work. The only place where it's at is inside of you, in your full aliveness, in your capacity to be fully you, to feel everything you feel, to be purposeful, to know who you are, to have your soul super close to your skin, to actually be a fully unleashed, fully awakened, call it enlightened if you want, human being. When you show up with that instrument and you defend a character, nothing can stop you and everyone will want to hire you. That's why the results that actors get in our community are crazy. That's why you book without an audition. You book without a callback because people see you and they run after you. They chase you. You don't have to chase them. They'll change scripts for you. They'll give you the lead role like Joanna got from Paris. They'll give you the lead masculine role and they'll rewrite it for you if you're a woman. They'll change the race. They'll change the color. They'll change the accent. They'll change everything to work with you because you're alive and it's so rare. Do you see what culture we're living? People are faking it morning to evening, sending selfies and staging their Instagram pictures and living online, basically. No one's human anymore. People want humans fully alive, as free as when you were a child as truthful as when you were a child. And there's no one else like you when you do that. And you cannot possibly learn that from someone else. You have to do the work of working through your shit until you get into your heart, into your soul. And then all the possibilities are there. Then you're limitless. You probably can't believe that right now. You're listening to me and going, yeah, she says that, but it's not true. Look at the testimonials. Look at what people are sharing in our community. You're thinking it's not possible because you're still thinking from that place where you're here. You don't believe it because you're not living your full potential. You're not living your worth. You're not alive. You're resisting every emotion. But the good news is it's not your fault. And the even better news is it's totally fixable. Because your instinct, you were born this way, it's just covered and leashed. That's all it is. You're just tied up. We can work on undoing this and waking this up. Your instinct is not dead. Your truth is not dead. Your soul is not dead. It's unmessable with. You're right here, right under a thick layer of resistance. You're just leashed. We can unleash That's the only work we do. We don't teach anyone. I don't teach anything. You can listen to me for hours. It's not going to do it for you. I can't give it to anyone. I can show you how to go back in. I can show you how to go back home in your instinct, in your truth, in your guts. I can show you that, how you need to do it. I can't do it for you. I can't give you a method. I can't give you seven steps. It's a journey back into yourself so that you can stand strong in your shoes, so that you can look at your life and live it, so that you can take a character on a piece of paper. I'm drooling. I'm excited. You can take a character on a piece of paper and actually defend them, not your ego. Who cares about your ego? It's not supposed to be there in the first place. That's not what you're paid for. You're paid to defend a character's needs, not your needs. So, If you've been doing the same things and everything, and there's always a new thing that's going to pop on online. Um, I'm reading the comments. If you're doing everything and it's not work, wonderful. You have clarity. You're a pro. Look at the facts. I want this. I've been doing this. It's not getting me there. It's not working. All right. 
What's the next thing? If you've tried all of the things, drop the things. No bells and whistles, no racket, no headband will make you play tennis, okay? Start addressing what is actually no longer working. You were perfect when you were born, and then you've just been tied up, you've been leashed into behaving, into pleasing, into looking good, into doing it right, into making sure you're never wrong, into making sure you're a good girl, you're a good boy. Let's F that, okay? Let's undo that and wake this up so that you can be limitless, so that you can believe in every possibility that's available for you and that you can actually snatch it and enjoy it. Because I also work with actors who are working all of the time, who are the actors whose name you know, and then they come and like, I'm booking all the time and I'm working every day of my life and I'm miserable. I'm in excruciating pain. Well, yeah, because the credits are not going to do it. It's the aliveness inside. And as long as you haven't reset your aliveness, your freedom and your truth, you're walking like this and this doesn't feel great. You're supposed to be you, standing your shoes straight. Bam, that's me. That's what's available for you. Not this. Let's try to do this and still get there and not get too much pain. That's horrible. You don't want that life. No matter how many credits and millions you have, you don't want it. Okay? So if you mean it, it's right, it's right there. It's inside of you. It's already there. If you actually want to get those jobs, the ones you want, and book and book and book and book without having to audition sometimes, take care of yourself, okay? If you want help with that, let us know. You can text, the, blah, 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 blah. You can text us the word free and then we'll send you some information. Or you can text us the word unleashed and we'll send you some information. Or you can text us the word ready and we'll send you some information. We'll get in touch with you and we'll do it. If you're not ready, then switch. If you're, if you're, if you're, if you're ready to loop all the time and never get to where you want, and you're not ready to look at the reality of what's happening, then drop it because nothing's going to change if you keep doing the same thing, nothing. So it's delusional to continue that script. Just drop it, do something else. All right. Okay. Thank you. I don't know why I was so excited today, but I was. Let me look if there's anyone who's asking something. Someone saying they were lazy. Yeah, that's human. We can deal with that. We go into it. So Jose is say, saying, I sound like Mia Goth. Why do you think she's an amazing actress? I have to say, I don't know Mia Goth. Um, so maybe I'm missing out. I, I need to Google her and see who she is. I don't watch much of anything, so I'm a little bit ignorant. Thank you, Belle. Kate is saying, resetting has changed my life. Thank you, Kate. I'm so glad. All right. I can't wait to meet you guys. I can't wait to get the exact jobs that you're meant to have. Love you. Bye.